Fatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, today was kind of one of those indoor days and you got a feel for folks that work outdoors this time of year. It was a rough one out there today with cloudy skies, misty drizzles, making that misery factor that a little bit, uh, just a little bit higher, but we can certainly have worse this time of year. So this is so far our, our winter and it's been without freezing temperatures, nor do I see any of those anytime soon. So first off with the misty drizzles, we got kind of low cloud ceilings and some patchy fog going on out there and visibility down to a quarter mile down in Patterson, five miles New Iberia, same in Abbeville, three in Lafayette. So National Weather Service going ahead and issuing a dense fog advisory, but I don't think it gets that thick. But nonetheless, Lafayette on southward, uh, seeing this dense fog advisory, eastern parishes of Louisiana under that same dense adv fog advisory through 9 a.m. tomorrow. And you see that includes much of uh, eastern Louisiana as well. Big picture, plenty of cloud cover in play. This is not clearing here. There's lots of low clouds out there and some misty drizzles. They continue. I have the Doppler turned to its very most sensitive that I can show you at least on the air. I can even turn it up more so on something that I can't show you on the air. Uh, but nonetheless, we have those misty drizzles and some uh, shower activity. Uh, the most substantial stuff now moving out of the Koto Homes area, moving across the Chafalai Basin. Uh, but we did have enough rain to wet the ground and that's how we measure our rainfall. When we say a 40% chance of rain, that's what we're going with tonight. That means enough rain to wet the ground doesn't include those misty drizzles that keeps your windshield wipers going on the car. So uh, those showers moving out, but we have more coming in. I think uh, the graph model has a pretty good grasp of that with uh, scattered showers, especially toward tomorrow morning. Oh, showers, though, first thing in the morning, they'll move out in the afternoon. It's all associated with an upper level disturbance. So by tomorrow afternoon, we're hoping the clouds thin and we see a little sunshine and we get our temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s for those those of us who are looking for milder temperatures, I'm one of them, so I don't want to play favorites, though. As we get into tomorrow night, warm front moving across the area, so temperatures hold in the 50s and actually rise into the low to mid 60s as we head toward Thursday morning. And then Thursday, some scattered showers, but certainly going to be milder with temperatures getting into the mid to upper 70s. But wait, there's more. Even milder conditions Thursday night into Friday morning with a few passing showers. Temperatures holding near 70. 70 for a low Friday morning and then Friday afternoon we're going to be pushing the lower 80s. So tonight temperatures holding for the most part where they are right now range upper 40s to low to mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. We should get into the 60s as mentioned we hold in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s through Thursday morning then Thursday afternoon getting balmy once again. So for tonight misty drizzles out there and a little foggy as well scattered light showers in the mix with rain chance at about 40 percent 53 the low so that's pretty much where we are right now. And then morning clouds, few showers tomorrow morning, milder into the afternoon with hopefully a few intervals of afternoon sun. If we do not see the sun, we may not get out of the 50s, but we'll gradually warm up tomorrow night. Maybe some fog tomorrow night. Uh, the risk of scattered showers, perhaps a thunder shower Thursday. And as we head into Friday, we're looking at uh, not a lower rain chances, but temperatures in the lower 80s. Storms on the way early Saturday, but turning sharply cooler. And then initially cool Sunday, Monday, and then going into next week, another warm up toward the end of next week. That's it for weather right now. Let's go over to Marcel.